Today we'll install a raised board, a dust shoe and we cut the first real project on the print and see. This standing desk converter. I've got this used 38mm MDF for cheap, but it needed a little bit of work. To make mounting the MDF board easier, I'm using the mill to tap every 150mm M6 hole, so I don't rely on my measuring skills. The middle steel beam has some holes doubled, so if I want to mount the vise beneath the waste board, I can remove the lower right section. And I've also tapped holes for mounting an angle iron. The MDF board is drilled and countersunk 2mm oversized, which should give me enough wiggle room for installing. For work holding I am currently just using double sided tape and screws, but in the future I think I will cut some 45 degree T-slots which should give you unlimited options for work holding. Well, this didn't go as planned. Let's try version 2. Enough is enough! I have had it with these mother... <laughs> Wanna see something disgusting? Now I know why all the cool kids use a cyclone with their CNC. But do yourself a favor and don't print it yourself. It takes three days and a full spool of filament. Do you know these moments when a simple 5 minute project is getting out of hand and is taking the whole weekend? Yeah, me too. My wife asked if I could make her a simple wooden U-shaped box so she can work at her office in a standing position. Me being the person who I am and having now access to a CNC said to her a simple box ain't cutting it. After some fiddling in Fusion 360, I, or rather the print and see, knocked out this beauty. It's a sturdy, lightweight and height adjustable standing desk converter. 
there was only one problem. My wife didn't tell me her monitor is basically a whole PC and monitor combo. It's a 27 inch iMac with a weight of around 10 kilos. As you can see with 10 kilos there is a little bit of deflection. I'm a little bit worried since there is a very expensive computer sitting on top of here. To fix this I think I'll let her take this to the office, set it up for the right height and then brace it from up here to the brace down here so there isn't so much flex on this joint. Looking at this I am still not convinced. I think I will also add a brace underneath here. Well, this ain't going anywhere. Whoop. 